Leaping from a static point onto a raised platform has a very inventive name. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, the standing jump. For the perfect standing jump, you need to work. That's not some terrible motivational speech. Jumping is all about the work energy theorem. The more work your leg muscles do, the more kinetic energy you gain as you push against the ground, and the higher you can jump. You can jump even higher by doing a counter-movement jump where a squat and jump are part of one fluid movement. Finally, for a balanced landing, get your centre of gravity over your feet. So, to master the standing jump, you stand, squat, push, jump and land. Sounds simple, right? Well, apparently not for everyone. If you can pull it off, it's a great way to impress the ladies at the gym. If you can't, it's not. But to be fair, it is a difficult thing to master. <laughs> See what I mean? This guy's got it. A bit of squat to increase work. The controlled center of gravity. All going on. Ah! Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon. This platform looks a bit on the high side. Tough, but can he make it? No, he can't, he can't. This chap's looking to impress his classmates. <laughs> Alas, with the bodged landing platform, it's not the jump that impresses, but the fall and the funny walk. <laughs> Back in the gym, this guy's going for a new personal record. That wasn't it. With the unstable platform, he can't get his centre of gravity over his base. A fall from a height of just three feet means you hit the ground at about 10 miles an hour. Might not break any speed limits, but it might break your nose. I am so happy I got that on film. <laughs> so are we.